What's up YouTube? This is the Internet Income Ninja coming to you live or whenever you're watching this video. Today's date is the 27th of October 2021 and it is 1.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As of this point in time, this video was posted three hours ago. What's this video about? Well, it's another way to make money online and it is a lead working for a company called Wikimedia Foundation. You will be working as a multimedia designer and this is one way you can make money online. The best part, you can make it, you can make full-time income working from anywhere in the world. Hence, you'll see the title international right here. Okay, that is golden because you can literally live in an RV or tiny house, a schoolie, you could travel, you could be on a plane and be making money doing your work on your laptop while traveling. Or if you just can't deal with the office um, situation and you'd rather work from your home office where you can be around your children and your loved ones, you can do just that. Also, whenever you come to this page, you will press this button. It will open up the website of the company Wikipedia, Wikimedia, my bad, Wikimedia Foundation, where you can see more of what they have to offer and learn more about how they work. Now, again, you'll be a multimedia designer working from anywhere in the world. And the summary of this particular role um, is that the Wikimedia Foundation seeks a dynamic multimedia designer excited to bring to life the work and stories of the free knowledge movement. The multimedia designer will play a critical role in supporting the brand studio in connecting global audiences and lifting up the narrative of the future of free knowledge in the world. This is a highly collaborative role for a conceptual creative with regular opportunities to create dynamic, resonant work that communicates our big picture thinking for key initiatives and campaigns. This role will work in close partnership with peers and colleagues in the brand studio communications team across the Wikimedia Foundation, volunteer community members, organizational partners, movement leaders, and other figures working in partnership toward Wikimedia's mission of free knowledge for all. So if this sounds like something you'd love to be a part of, not only making money, but also promoting education and being able to make education free for everyone, then this is a wonderful place to work. Now, if you are someone who sees the most inanimate objects come to life in vibrant and interesting ways, if you like to tell stories with dynamic type, doodle interesting characters and make them move to communicate things to big audiences, if you hear about a problem and often want to solve it with interactive and compelling representations of a brand and its work, we're looking at you. This role will work with people in these time zones. Okay. Whoops. So you'll be working in these time zones. Okay. So basically what they're saying is their team is scattered around the world and a lot of the people that you'll be working with will be within this time zone. Okay. Now, your responsibilities, and there may be others that aren't mentioned here, depending on what comes up, but your key responsibilities will be to use computer programs to create animation, audio, video, and visual effects. All right? So all my Adobe After Effects people and Adobe, Adobe Premiere and all these amazing software, you'll be the person behind the screen, or behind the scenes, rather, creating these amazing visuals, All right? You'll perform edits based on feedback from stakeholders. You'll conduct research to create accurate animations. You'll manage creative projects and their stakeholders from brief through to final execution. Collaborate with other creatives in the studio to conceptualize a strong idea against the limitations of a brief. Collaborate with external service providers on videography motion graphics, and user experiences. Storyboard and map scamps for initial review. Use active listening to fine tune the work to meet the needs of stakeholders. 
assist with additional design needs within the brand studio. The skills that they want you to have are as follows, and these will be pretty much the qualifying things to allow you to be fit for the job. Um, be an adaptive and detail-oriented creative with an interest in understanding, supporting and expanding the creative work of the Wikimedia movement and the Wikimedia Foundation. Strong research skills. The ability to meet deadlines and excel in a fast-paced, multitasking environment that often requires fast turnaround. Experience in developing and maintaining systems and documentation for projects with multiple moving parts and stakeholders. Strong organizational skills and experience managing multiple projects at once. An interest in both independent and collaborative work. A commitment to the Wikimedia Foundation's free knowledge mission. The ability to flourish in a highly collaborative environment and work on a team with diverse demographic and cultural characteristics. So these are required to do the job. Advanced knowledge of the Adobe Creative Suite, which includes Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. Now I mentioned After Effects before, but they definitely want Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere Pro. They want you to have a basic understanding of back-end structure of WordPress themes, which is PHP. Basic understanding and experience with Git, so using GitHub or a similar uh, website. We've talked about GitHub on this um, YouTube channel a few times, quite a few times. Knowledge of web accessibility standards is the final thing. Now, the qualities that are important to us um, in you, resilience we, resilience, we work on new and interesting problems in public and collaborative ways, being open, curious, and inquiring in our work, internal motivation and high standards, working together for outcomes and being willing to let go to scale or change course. Sharing a culture of constructive criticism and respect. Natural inclination for team collaboration and for helping colleagues succeed. Additionally, they'd love it if you can ideate and write in two or more languages. So if you have a second language, that's a plus, a big plus. You currently live and work outside of the United States. You are a writer with a diverse lived experience. You have advanced knowledge in prototyping ideas and creating production-ready code using front-end technologies including JavaScript, core and frameworks or libraries such as jQuery, um, D3.js, okay, HTML5, and CSS3, including compiling CSS through SASS or SAS, targeting desktop and mobile browsers. You have experience with media wiki markup. You have experience with user interface design and interaction design. Now, these things are required. They are almost three to five years as a multimedia designer in a creative studio or as a freelancer. A video reel demonstrating your skills. Examples of two projects with details on your process in developing them and they want you to have your curriculum vitae or resume. And at this point in time, I would love to introduce you to a website called Canva. If you struggle to put your resume and cover letter together, Canva has hundreds of templates that you can use. You literally just fill in the blanks, okay? So when you Go to the description to find the link for this page. Take note of the Canva link. It's free to use. Okay. Canva is free. You just sign up and you don't pay anything. You just use it for free. You have access to all their templates. <clears throat> with, excuse me. Whether it be for Instagram posts, making a business card, birthday cards, a journal, planner. You have access to all these templates on canva for free so that canva free so check that link out in the description let me know what you think in the comment section we'll keep it moving now if you live in the us 
So these are the benefits and perks that you'll enjoy from Wikimedia. Healthcare benefits covered at 100%. We cover 100% of premiums for medical, dental, and vision plans for all full-time and employees and eligible. <laughs> that was a bit of a typo. Eligible dependents. Wellness reimbursement program up to $1,800 US per year for reimbursement for staff wellness expenses such as gym fees, educational expenses, and more. Technology and equipment stipend. In addition to receiving a brand new laptop, monitor, and docking station, all new hires receive $600 US stipend to set up their space for working virtually. So maybe you need a new scanner. Maybe you need a chair or, or, or some stationery and stuff. You get that money to set your home office up. Okay? And this is for when you're working virtually. Professional development program up to $750 US dollars. Reimbursement per year to encourage continuous learning through attending conferences, courses, workshops, and purchase of educational materials. 401k retirement plan, employer match of up to 4% of employee contributions, dollar for dollar, with no vesting period. Paid time off. Generous paid time off policy of over 45 days, which includes vacation days. At least one observed holiday a month sick leave, and volunteer days. Now you have flexible schedules, options available to balance your personal and remote, remote work life. Silent Fridays, no scheduled meetings so you can get caught up at the, re at the end of the week, at the end of each week. New parent leave, fully paid new parent leave for seven weeks plus an additional five weeks for pregnancy and flexible options as you embark on your return to work. Fertility and Adoption Reimbursement Plan reimburses staff up to $5,000 US in expenses per year with a lifetime maximum of $10,000 US. This is amazing. I can't believe they're paying so much for different things. Assistance for those unexpected life events, long and short term disability, life insurance, and an employee assistance program. Pre tax savings plans, generously funded health savings accounts which are HSAs, pre-tax contribution options for healthcare, childcare and elder care, public transportation and parking expenses. Now, um, please note that for remote roles located outside of the US, we defer to their, they're deferring to their PEO to ensure alignment with local labor laws. So if you don't live within the US, they're going to defer to their standard PEO structure and once you jump to the interview, you can ask more about that, right? But they do have some benefits for people who don't live in the U.S., so fret not. Now, if you're interested in this role, which I think you should be, if you qualify, hit this button, this one, okay? When you hit that button, it will take you to the page to fill out your application and upload your information for them to review. Once they review, they will reach out to you. Now, there are a lot of scammers out there. So expect emails from Wikimedia. Okay? Don't reply to any emails asking you to submit any payment information or anything like that. Don't do it. Look for only emails that you expect from this company or anything that has this company's name in the mix. Okay? Protect yourselves out there. No, if this is something you'd love, go ahead and apply. If you are interested in entrepreneurship, there are a few other links that you can check out as well. Fill out the information and you can expect to get access to free videos that teach you how you can make money passively online, even when you're doing your full-time job. Because the truth is, anything can happen with any company, even if it's virtual. And if anything changes, you know that you have other streams of income that will if not hold your over they definitely can even replace your full-time income so check that out it's my pleasure to help you thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button smash the notification bell like comment and share if you appreciate all the information shared 
Um, I'm here to help people make money online. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.